Greetings, bold, energetic, headstrong, Aries. My name is Eliane Nicole. I'm an astrologer and tarot card reader. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And now I am going to do the November forecast for Aries, uh, 2019 November. And um, I'm just going to do a tarot forecast. I'll talk a little bit about the planets, but if you want a transit reading, you should contact me directly. And um, in the meantime, I will flip over the cards and then um, go around and explain the positions and the cards to you in greater detail. Um, so the big themes for Aries in the month of November are, uh, you, have, you have four major arcana. You have death which is about uh, change and transformation. You have the devil reversed, which is about getting yourself out of a situation of bondage of some kind where you're feeling trapped. Um, you have the fool, which is about the beginning of new journeys and starting fresh. And you have the strength, which is very self-explanatory. It's about strength. So those are the big overarching themes for Aries for the month of November. As you enter the month of November, Aries, it looks like you are um, becoming, uh, your significator is the Eight of Swords reverse. So you are becoming liberated from a situation. It may be that the way that you're uh, turning around your old ideas, your old ways of thinking about something is what is liberating you. Or it may be a diff different kind of liberation. but. We see Aries at the beginning of the month starting to feel some loosening up from a situation where they were feeling trapped. And you are covered by a victory. The Ace of Swords covers Aries for the month of November. Um, so yeah, victory. And um, you're crossed by the Page of Pentacles. For Aries uh, that have um, children, this could be that you, um, this is a child and you're dealing with either financial, business, um, or school matters um, with the child. Um, and that's also happening all kind of within the first week of November, the first few days. And um, then uh, the basis is the the five of pentacles reverse so it looks like you are comforting you could be comforting someone or someone is comforting you we see that someone is getting over um an injury of some kind it could be a literal physical energy uh injury or it could be more of a spiritual or emotional injury that someone is getting over and maybe there's someone else who's comforting that person and what's leaving is death reversed and that is um a rebirth um a new start uh regeneration um what could come into being is the devil of reversed aries around mid-month you could find yourself again coming out of a situation of bondage we see a, we see a couple of cards like this for aries in the month of november you, you've been trapped and and the situation is loosening up or maybe you're coming out of it and um how, uh, what will come into being, the full reversed. It also looks like around mid-month you could be second-guessing yourself about something, possibly feeling embarrassed or um, maybe delayed or postponed um, in making a new start on something. Um, fears or insecurities or the Ten of Swords reversed. This is about um, getting over a completion in your life and getting past that. Um, others see you as the nine of pinnacles reverse. So others, this doesn't mean that everyone in your life is looking at you like this necessarily, um, when the car falls in this position, but it means that someone in your orb is seeing you as being either insecure or lacking in resources and finances. Um, and your positive feelings are the Three of Cups reverse. So it looks like around the end of the month, you're gonna be feeling happy and positive about some socializing. It may be superficial socializing or it may be very decadent socializing with a lot of eating and drinking and all of that. But it looks like you feel very positive about this towards the end of the month, Aries. And at the end of November, you look very strong, Aries. You're going into uh, December feeling very strong. So yeah, that's the 
tarot overview for Aries, and I will just say quickly about the planets. Um, as we enter the month of November, uh, Mercury is in retrograde in Scorpio. Mercury will be retrograde until November 20th. If you want to know more about that and where that's traveling in your chart and how it may affect you specifically, I highly encourage you to call me for a transit reading and we can look at that. Um, other than that, as we enter the month, um, you know, uh, the sun is obviously in Scorpio um, and uh, on November 1st, Venus enters Sagittarius, um, and on November 12th, we have the full moon in Taurus at 19 degrees Taurus. On uh, November 20th, Mars enters Scorpio, um, and uh, Mercury goes direct, um, which I think I already said. November 22nd, the sun enters Sagittarius, so we get into Sagittarius season beginning. Um, November 25th, Venus enters Capricorn. November 26th is the new moon in Sagittarius and November 27th Neptune goes direct which could be um, interesting as well. So definitely contact me for a transit reading and if you liked this video please give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it uh, you can give me the thumbs down. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's uh, at astrology.tarot.elianicole. And please share this video with other Aries you know. And please post something in comments. Um, thank you so much, Aries. And I hope that you